What is up guys? Alright, let's have a look at the July 13th patch note. So let's see. This thing is a data update server break. So there's going to be some sort of maintenance going on tomorrow. So yeah, be sure to put your device on check for the update. Alright, let's have a look. What do we have? Obviously, patch details, first things first, hero awakening. So four heroes will be awakened. I think we have seen it coming. Sonic Boom. Alright, so Sonic Boom needs 100 Caesar Awakening Golems as usual and 1 million and 20,000 gold all right let's have a look at the awakening skill so ninjutsu space inferno distorts the space and summons fire that slashes the battlefield deals damage with ignoring certain amount of enemies defense also enables sonic boom to move through the enemies for two turns wow just wow <laughs> allows enemies to move through the enemies for two turns really that's cool that's cool as fuck this is like just like this set what's the set called the immortal yeah i think it's an immortal the immortal set the two star i mean six star slot two that gives you the ability to walk through enemies yeah, definitely something to consider when you are using, uh, when you are devising a strat in Tower of Dawn Hell or just any Tower of Dawn stages that will last up to 4 turns. On turn 4, turn 5, he can start using this skill, which is cool. Move through the enemies. Wow! Alright, alright, enough wowing. Let's have a look at Dolores' skill. Alright, power of money. Attacks enemies in its range and copies buff buffs. Buffs. Not just one buff, it's buffs. Cast on its target by bribing it with money. Also creates a chance of removing buffs cast on the enemies and increases their skill MP cost. Doesn't sound that astounding yet. Uh copies buffs cast on its target. Alright, alright. So, copies buffs. That sounds really broken. On Tower of Dawn Hell. Uh, too bad you can't use Awakening in Battle of Honor. But they did mention that they might allow it in Battle Arena in the future. So, watch out for this skill. It's definitely one of those uh, skills that can. Uh, what do you call it? Turn the tables that copies buffs, yeah, depending on what buffs copied, it can change a lot of things in battle. <coughs> I'm curious to see how that works out, but for now it's just an okay kind of skill. We already have a uh, phantom, which has something similar. Alright, Nox, wow. Look at this guy. Oblivion strikes terror into enemies in its range, inflicting damage with a chance of cursing and confusing them. Cursing and confusing. Wow. So, I would say it's an okay, okay skill. Uh, confusion, not that strong of a status effect because you can remove it if you have immunity. So not too great I would say, but definitely Awaken Nox, get ready, BOH users, get ready. If you are a fan of Battle of Honor, start, you'll start seeing this guy throughout the week. Alright, let's have a look at Zero's one. Final Blade delivers a finishing blow, inflicting damage with a chance of instantly killing its target. Ah. So it does uh, instant death, I believe. So depends on the percentage, depending on the percentage. So this might or might not be a good skill. We will see how it works out. <coughs> Alright, so hero rebalance. I've already checked this out. 
um, if you want to check that video out you can click here in the top right corner or you can find the link to that video in the description okay so I will try to link the video at the end of the at the end of this video as well so you guys can go watch that video uh, I'm not going to repeat what I say uh, to summarize what I mentioned in that video <coughs> basically I was excited for Nox especially his rebalance uh, definitely I think that his one is the strongest Nox is a guy right yeah I think that his is the strongest amongst the four alright let's have a look at the next section new Valkyries Soul Gear Valkyrie Soul Gear update for Season 2 Heroes. Alright, so we have Ildo, Taihua, Hongyam, the Real Gang, and Thanatos. So, five, five heroes. They have their Soul Gear now. Been waiting for this for ages. Now that they are here, cool! Cool! Ildo, Taihua. Alright, let's have a look. So Ildo's uh, Valkyrie Saber gives 200, uh, 400 defense and 200 crit rate. The wings give the same thing as well. So the Saber, the weapon, improves skill damage by 13.65% and it adds the defense ignoring damage by 2600. Uh, that's quite decent. Uh, not too broken though. It doesn't add your range or anything like that. So for the wings, increases skill damage on third skill by 8.3% and additional additional defense by 1,200. Not bad, not bad. Definitely a very good soul gear for Ildo, especially the stats. If you can purchase these two, it gives 400 crit rate total and 800 defense. So Taihua's second skill for the weapon soul gear increases skill damage by 9.5% and reduce healing effect by additional 25% alright that HP by 1200 is extremely useful I don't care about the counter rate elegant wings crit rate hit rate and passive skill so gain additional 5.5% HP upon revival wow alright that's very useful 5.5% uh, HP I think if you have max if you max out your passive, you might be able to escape the death after you are in a terrain damage. Usually, Taihua suffers from terrain damage if the, if he is on a terrain damage. For example, Lava Terrain, and he dies and he revives, that terrain damage would kill him, I think. So with this additional 5.5% HP, it will help him... Uh, it will help him with his survivability slightly. Definitely quite useful. I still like Ildos one more. Let's see, let's have a look at Hong Yom's and Ryo Gangs. All right, Hong Yom's one uh, attack by three hundred eighty, counter damage by six hundred, increases third skill damage by seven point five percent, and crit damage by ten percent. Wow! All right, now that's OP. Additional crit damage by 10%, that's a lot. Especially if you have crit on. This is not something to joke about. You want this, man. You want this. Especially if you are using her in Battle of Honor. This is what you want to get. I'm going to get this for sure. And let's look at the passive skill. Increases crit rate by another 1000. HP recovery by 7%. That's a must-have. That's a must-have. Especially if you use Hong Yom in... Uh, guild rates, especially on Tuesday, you want that for sure. For sure, you will want that. All right, Rio Gang, uh, Valkyrie's book increases skill damage by fourteen point five percent. Decrease required movement by two to cast sleep at level ten. So for the wings, uh, increase third skill damage by eight point seven percent, which is kind of low. I mean. Her skill modifiers are not that high to begin with, which makes her soul gear average at most. Skills activation chance by 10%, alright. 
So I will put priority in getting Ildo, Ildo Sogyo and Hongyam Sogyo. I think these two are the best out of these four. Oh yeah, there's one more. Let's check that out. Thanatos, of course. How can I forget about this guy? Valkyrie's Great Sword. Increases attack by 380, counter damage by 600. So this increase your skill damage of your third skill by 6.25%. Only? Come on. Effective range by 1. Alright, alright. Now that's something... That's really a, a really good bonus. That's something that we re actually... I am looking forward to. So now he can hit um, slightly further. One effective range by one. That will help him a lot. Definitely help him a lot. Alright, for the passive skill, defense. Uh, for the wings, it gives 400 defense, 200 counter rate. Increases double attacks, passive uh, damage by 5% on the passive. Hmm... His third skill only increased by 6.25%. I guess it's okay if I were to compare with uh, someone like Ildo. Ildo's third skill is 8.3, his third skill is 6.2. Why 6.25? Why can't you make it 6.5 or something? But the effective range, that would definitely help him out a lot. Double attack, double attacks damage by 5%. So that's a lot as well. I'm getting Thanatos for sure. I will get his soul gear for, for sure. But I still think that Hong Yom's one is one of the better ones. Hong Yom's, Ildo's, uh, Tai Hua, it actually depends if you actually use him in Battle of Honor, then you might want to get him, else I would skip it, I think. Because I don't really use him that much. I would skip Ryogang for sure. I won't even think about it. Like, it's not that useful. Alright, maybe the second skill could be useful in certain situations, but I don't know. Unless you use her in Battle of Honor, her soul gear is not worth it at all. So I'll put priority in Hong Yums and Ildos, and then Thanatos. And then Taihua and Ryo Gang at the least priority. That's my pri priority order. Alright, event shop. Summer event shop. Gather the new event coin, ancient relic from world conquest and dungeons to purchase items from event shop. Event coin is not obtainable from Tower of Dawn. Alright, understood. So let's have a look. So daily purchase, still the same things. Uh, modification stones, uh, cuckoos, and gold mana stone, soul stone, energy potions. Alright, those are still pretty basic. Let's have a look at the limited purchase. Usually, the changes are here. So, we are getting Sailor Steel Valkyrie costume again. Phoenix Staff Blazing Shield Feather of Life. I believe that is the Phoenix, Phoenix Apostle set item. And then we have Transcendence Ticket, Devil's Soul, Bundle of Gold, Bundle of Mana Stone, Bundle of Soul Stone. Alright, that's new. That's new and that's cool as fuck. Something that we can actually use. It's cool, you know. It used to be they give two sets of equipments, but uh, looks like they are only providing one this time around. Phoenix Apostle, so they are replacing it with... Instead of putting another set of equipments, they are giving us a bundle of gold, mana stones, and soul stones. I'll take it any time of the day. Thank you, Nexon. Alright, Phoenix Apostle is a pretty good set. Uh, increase defense by 700 and dodge by 700. Additionally, increase more if you are using it in the pit of Neptis. So, two piece should suffice if you are using this set. So you can use uh, the weapon and the, I believe it's an amulet for the accessory. So this is how the costume looks like for the Valkyrie Sailor style. It gives 1500 HP. Not bad, huh? So new set item update if events. 
Alright, so new set items will be added on July 27th and new events will begin for pre-celebration. So first if event, we have 20% more mileage by equipment summons. What? 20% more mileage? It's time to pull man, it's time to pull. I'm going to pull for sure. Just for this shit. Make sure you guys pull as well, alright? This is awesome, 20% more mileage. So this means that you are filling your mileage gauge faster this way. Alright, so application range, it applies to free summon, summon times 1 and summon times 10. Alright, let's have a look at, there's a second if event, double alchemy extraction point. Alchemy gain, point gain will be double from extraction of 1 to 4 equipment during the event period. What? That's cool. Finally. Good good and awesome events. Finally. Alright. Let's have a look. What's this? Third if event. Daily equipment summon schedule event. Okay, during the event period, equipment summon schedule will be changed daily. Wow. So it's changing every day as opposed to every two or three days. Alright, we shouldn't miss out on that. Uh, can click on that, but I don't think I would want to. I'll have a look at it privately on my own time. So, fourth if event. 20% bonus on refinement stone event. Uh, not that awesome compared to the other two, but yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the 20% additional refinement stone. There's a fifth one! Gold Maze Daily Event. Your chance to earn gold every day. Gold Maze Dungeon is always available during the event period. What? Alright, now this is cool. This is awesome. Thanks, Nexon. Thanks. I like this. I like this event. I like this EVE event. Alright, so World Conquest Burning Event. So what do we have? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Double obtain rate of gene fragments and gold. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, double opt-in rate of Gene Fragments and Heroes EXP. Alright, that's fine. Monday to Friday, double opt-in rate of Gene Fragments and Hero EXP. Oh, Arc Continent and CR Continent. So Saturday to Sunday, double opt-in rate of Gene Fragments and Goal. Oh, of course, of course. We are dealing with Nexon here. It's a Nexon game. There's gotta be some new packages, right? So Energy Premium Package. Let's have a look, what is this? So you can only purchase it once a week and you get 20 energy potions, 20 subjugation tickets. So no crystals, no. That means it will be cash only, as usual. Energy premium package 2, 5 times, looks like a cash only thing. Alright, not too interested in them. Soul stone special package for sale, 10 times. 130,000 soul stones, 1 million gold, 2 energy potions. And looks like it's a cash only thing. Alright, awakening package will always be available. Uh, not too sure what is this about. Alright, let's have a look. Bug fixed. Alright, fix a bug where 2 piece of set effect of Cuckoo Ranger's Gold set was applied as active skill. Fix a bug for Thai language. Uh, Alright. Alright guys, uh, that's it for the video, hope you enjoyed it, wow, there's a lot of new new things coming out, I really like that they are enabling the gold dungeon every day, it's every day right, let's have a look again, yeah, every day, so that's cool, so we can farm gold as much as we want, you know, there's no excuse that, oh, I don't have gold to enhance my equipment. Yeah, don't give that excuse, please. Make sure you farm this gold maze dungeon every day. Get as much gold as you can. Bring Dolores along. He can be awakened now. There's no excuse for you not to use him anymore. Yeah. Alright, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. I do patch notes, uh, patch note analysis once in a while, every time it comes out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, 
you can check out some of my other videos and if you haven't already you can check out the video where I actually go in depth and review the four newly uh, rebalanced heroes alright so that's it for the video guys have a nice day good night